by a vote of the likes on this video tell me who here still thinks there is going to be a short squeeze if you do if you don't that doesn't matter necessarily for this video we're going to talk about exactly why i think there's going to be an epic short squeeze likely even by the end of this month if not over the course of the next couple of months and this video was actually inspired to me late last night and i'm filming this video very early in the morning i watched the show on Netflix about the GameStop saga. By the way, if you guys have not watched that, definitely go ahead, give it a watch. If you like finance, if you like meme stocks and crushing hedge, hedge funds, which hopefully you do if you're watching this video, then it is perfect for you. And there's a lot of great references to what happened before GameStop squeezed to what is happening now. Because in a lot of the same regards, the situations are, are pretty parallel. So we're going to talk about exactly why I think an epic short squeeze is on the way. Like I said, the similarities of where we are now to what happened before GameStop and AMC ever squeezed the first time around and talk about the raw data here because it's definitely telling you a story and I'm liking the direction of this story so far where we currently sit. So guys, like I said in the beginning of this video, if you guys do want to crush the hedge funds, if you think a short squeeze is on the way, hit that like button. That's the best way to take a vote of confidence here on YouTube. Nonetheless, let's get into it guys. And that's what I want to talk about first is the similarities of now to what happened before GameStop ever it existed and this really was inspired uh, by what i watched last night on netflix about the gamestop saga I, I don't even know what the the name of it is just type in gamestop and netflix you will see it watch the first episode that's really all you need to watch to get to pick up what i'm putting down here and essentially the biggest thing that kept sticking out to me screaming to me whatever you want to call it is the lack of interest in GameStop, in a lot of stocks at that at that moment, everyone thought GameStop was going to go out of business. And that's where the opportunity was so large for the, the guys that were first in GameStop. A couple people took, you know, 25,000 into 8 million or Roaring Kitty, 50,000 into over $50 million. It's because if you're early to these things, you will get paid out very, very generously. And that's what is so similar to then and now. Not a lot of people seem to be you know bullish on stocks in general but definitely not stocks like amc and even the premiums are reflecting that you know to buy an option that's 25 percent out the money on amc or gamestop is a lot cheaper now than it was over the last couple of months because people are not expecting big moves to come and that's literally the number one thing that stood out to me is the pessimism that you've seen back then is definitely here now and that to me converts into a very big potential opportunity now in the show you have citron research you have a lot of villains of this story that's not what you should focus on you should focus on what they actually say if you watch watch the film but one of the biggest things that actually stuck out to me was what uh, Andrew left of Cintron Research said because he's in it. He said that you know stocks with seven, ten percent short interest that's pretty normal. Doesn't raise any flags. Once you get over twenty percent, you really start to raise a lot of flags. And they go on to say in the show that stocks that are over twenty percent short really have a big potential uh, to see a short squeeze, especially when you do get this outsized momentum from a collective group of people that are buying a stock, that are pushing a stock up. And I don't care how long it takes, eventually AMC will squeeze in my personal opinion. Eventually it will happen again, just like in the film, it says it could happen again. They they literally say in, in the next Netflix film, that this same event could happen again. Now, 
besides all of all of that, and, and hopefully you guys understand what I mean by that, the similarities here between pre-game stop squeeze and what we are seeing now. Hopefully that all makes some sense. But I do want to pivot now because uh, that's really the thing that I wanted to get across to you guys. I'm making this video very early in the morning, earlier than usual, uh, just to keep this fresh to give to you guys. Now, what is the data behind what I'm saying, right? Because we all know you could think a lot doesn't mean it's going to happen. The data still has to be there. And there's a couple main points. Obviously, the raw data on AMC, the technicals, we'll talk about that. But the first thing that I want to say is that the net short US exposure, or in other words, uh, the ratio or percentage of hedge funds portfolios that are long on stocks that are hoping stocks go up so they make money is at a record low. So most hedge funds are betting on the markets to go down at a record pace, at a record percentage of their overall portfolio value. So needless to say, if the markets do the opposite of that, you're going to see a lot of shorts get get squeezed across the board, not just in AMC, in a very short amount of time. But then again, when you have a populace of people betting on a stock that love a stock that, you know, are, are trying to get a short squeeze, that's where the real opportunity is presented in these times of extreme fear. And all we really need right now, in my personal opinion, uh, to actually see a major short squeeze to see AMC double, triple, 5x, 10x from here is some degree of a Fed pivot, some degree of scaring the shorts out of their positions. Because when the Fed's raising rates, when things don't look so hot for growth in America, especially for speculative assets, as one might call AMC or betting on a short squeeze, right? It's not a, a slam run. Or slam run home run slam dunk uh fundamentally we all know that that is absolutely no surprise but when you get this combination of events you can really get some big moves so there's the net short exposure and i've talked about this before and let's talk about this so computer driven hedge funds surge amid uh chaos markets a 200 billion dollar corner of the hedge fund industry dominated by computer driven algorithms has been making the most of wild swings in the global markets putting many of those funds on course for a record year of gains aspect capital's diversified program returned 5.2 percent last month to bolster its gains this year to nearly 44 percent according to an investor document now let me tell you if the s p 500 is down almost 30%, Nasdaq's down over 30% from its peak, and these computer-driven hedge funds are up 44% in a year. Mathematically speaking, most of their portfolio has to be in short positions. No, selling calls, selling puts, that's a 2, 3, 4, 5% yield every couple of months you're not gonna make 44%. So statistically speaking, especially the computer-driven uh, hedge funds, they are very much a majority short on this market. And that is very, very telling to me because when you're that short on the markets, those big green days really hurt your portfolios. Then you gotta double down on the same strategy that made you go up 44%, meaning you have to go out and short more and more and more stock. And as you guys know, Retail investors, me and you, we don't move the markets. Hedge funds, these $200 billion worth of hedge funds, they dominate the markets. And it's all computer driven at this point. So once you do get the Fed slowing down, once you get midterms out the way, that's when you will see a big boost to stock prices. Mark my words on it, write it down, stick it on a sticky note. I don't care what you do. Keep this in mind. Once something changes, once the sentiment changes, maybe it's next week with the CPI report, you will see a market-wide short squeeze, but the stocks that perform the worst are going to do the best and the, the most well-known names 
uh, and especially names with a backing around them, will have outlandishly large moves relative to the markets. That's why when the markets are up 2-3% in a day, AMC stock more than likely up well over 10%. It's because people are behind the stock. And there is a lot of fear in hedge funds still that a statistically unprobable event could happen again, like the short squeezes we've seen in 2020 and 2021 and when it's computer driven when you're getting computers shorting the markets computers are going to be really fast to get out of those positions and unfortunately the computers hedge funds they're probably not going to be the ones to go bust in this situation right they're going to get out uh once they smell trouble coming the guys that are going to go bust are more than likely the humans behind it right the the, the people that let their emotions uh get the best of them and that's going to those are going to be the hedge funds that really drive this thing home once you get you know 50 60 70 80 90 100 dollars plus those are going to be the guys that take the biggest hits unfortunately it's probably not going to be the computers because they're going to get out once uh, a technical you know indicator doesn't look in their favor anymore right hopefully that makes a little bit of sense to you guys uh, if it doesn't comment down below i will definitely uh, go over that a little bit more in depth because it does get pretty in depth and we don't have time for that here in this video at least now before we get into the raw data the last thing i want to say is this the midterms midterms you know they happen two years into a presidency right and we're not going to get into politics I, I i think people have have their own opinions and you are definitely uh allowed to do so but it doesn't even matter because stocks have historically bottomed in october and been positive in the year after every midterm election since 1942 i will take those odds and that was actually uh from october 2nd 2022 so this is very very relevant uh information or a very relevant quote you could say but historically markets are, are pretty shaky heading into midterms and then they usually do well after midterms or even in this case before if the fed does somewhat pivot which i think is in democrats interest to have a fed pivot to see the stock market go up in a big way heading into the election so they could say hey you know we're making the stock market come back the last thing you want is people going to the ballots you know checking their phones and seeing their 401k down 30 percent you know uh just a couple years into a brand new uh change of politics right from republican to democrat so there's that and i think that is very very important in regards to all of this because i think right now you're very pessimistic in the markets and i think either way you put it by year end you're going to see a short squeeze and like andrew left said once you're over 20 percent or around 20 percent, that's when things really start to get on the radar and what that means is you're prone for short squeezes now let's talk the raw data because some of you guys didn't care about anything i just said some of you guys it doesn't even make sense but the raw data does so as far as the live short interest uh that is sitting at 18.88 percent now why am i so excited about this and why have i been excited about this because essentially if the short interest is 18.88 percent then you know the short interest is a lot higher with all of the fake shares the synthetics the ftds out there which have been absolutely wild as you guys know there was over 140 million ftds alone on ape how does that happen well lending out the same shares multiple times so on and so forth lots of strategies that ultimately in the end make it tough for hedge funds let's just put it like that so the short interest we all know is much higher so that's very very exciting and it should be exciting given the relevance of you know where we currently sit right now cost to borrow max that's sitting at 29.22 percent still very very elevated and much higher than normal levels that's because there could be a big move and people are going to charge a little bit more interest to lend out their shares. Cost of our average sitting at 24.51%, also much higher than normal. Cost of our minimum at 17.13%. So I think that uh, is, is, is a very good thing, nonetheless. Now, as far as the option activity, it's been very bearish. 
And I think a lot of that is, is from hedge funds. At this point, I don't think people are selling AMC stock. You're at the lows damn near of 2022. Uh, things honestly couldn't get much worse for market sentiment for uh things you know revolved around speculation or really growth in general look at a growth stock in any capacity it's obliterated right just completely obliterated anything speculative obliterated so i think it's a lot of hedge funds that are doing uh you know uh these large orders that are really moving around the stock as of right now and that's what we're looking at right here so on friday we've seen eight orders totaling about seven hundred thousand dollars positive order value of 15 percent so not very call it bullish uh as as of friday and for good reasoning right the fed hasn't pivoted yet uh the data doesn't look like the fed is going to pivot with the job job market labor market continuing to be very very strong and if you look at amc's chart this is really really telling you a story too uh over the last call it six nine i think that's about nine months now back from uh uh, February, January, February of 2022, you have seen two major rallies where AMC stock went up over 100%. And that only looked to be the start of these rallies and things were looking good. And then you got beat down again. And even the one more recently in August, that was a very parabolic rally as well. The stock going from $8 all the way up to, I believe it was $18 at the peak, almost, or, uh, around $17, 1689 looked like it was the peak, a well over 100% move, and the shorts really didn't cover, right? You know, uh, there wasn't really a short squeeze. So when you're talking about a short squeeze uh, this time around, I think the chart alone uh, does look very, very compelling. And the fact that we are still above the lows of 2022, but really sitting around the lows, we're above but we're around the lows, I think it's a very positive thing as well as far as market sentiment because you want to be the guy that's first to the trade, the guy that, you know, bets on the trade before hundreds of thousands or millions of other people do it, whether it's options or buying the stock, you want to be first to it. You want to be as quick as you can to spot the opportunity. And I think that's where we currently sit right now. I don't think a lot of people are actively betting AMC or the markets are going to go higher at this point. After all, the net shorts are at historically high levels, right? You've seen a historically high uh, bearishness in the markets. It, 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 2022 has been nothing but historic as far as bearish activity bearish sentiment in general just two fridays ago you had the most puts ever bought in the history of the stock market bought that day that was only two weeks ago guys so hopefully this is resonating with you and hopefully you can see the potential opportunity here that's all this video is about as far as the rsi that is at 35.88 extremely oversold and the macd is extremely bearish as well so i think i gave you guys a lot to think about and I, I i hope a lot of you guys uh go watch um that documentary on netflix it's very much centered around the retail investor it's not about bashing the retail investor i think it was pretty cool i uh, haven't watched all of it but that's really the one thing that stuck out to me is the similarity of what you've seen pre-gamestop to what you're seeing now and the potential opportunity uh is looking similar as well we'll just call it that so that's going to be all for this video hit the like button like i said subscribe to the channel source your comments questions or concerns down below in the comment section if you guys want to come trade with me live in real time every time i make a trade alerts are sent out link down below in the description of this video and if you guys want to get free stock you know the spiel weeble mumu and public down below in the description as well you guys enjoy the rest of your sunday go lions i will see you in the next